Hi, my name is Mary Beckerley, and I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Huntsman Cancer Institute. I'm delighted to have a few minutes to introduce you to our team at Huntsman Cancer Institute and our research goal of developing a novel strategy to treat Ewing sarcoma. Ewing sarcoma is the second most common bone cancer in children. It's a very challenging cancer to treat because it is typically metastasized or spread by the time it is diagnosed. Improved strategies for treatment of this disease are desperately needed. We've assembled a multidisciplinary scientific team to tackle this problem. Dr. Steve Lesnick, a pediatric oncologist with a long-standing program in Ewing sarcoma research. Dr. Sunil Sharma, an oncologist with drug development expertise. Dr. Alana Welm, a specialist in using real patient tumors to understand how cancer spreads. Myself, a cell biologist who specializes in how cells move and a number of colleagues in surgery, pathology, and radiology that are working with us toward this goal. We know that Ewing sarcoma is driven by a change in DNA, our genetic material, and this results in the production of a dysfunctional protein called EWS fly. EWS fly causes literally thousands of genes to be abnormally turned on or turned off and that's what causes sarcoma cells to grow out of control. Working together over the past several years, our team has found that EWS fly disrupts the internal cellular skeleton as well, compromising the ability of these cells to stick or adhere and remain in place in their environment. A cell that can't remain in place in its environment is more likely to travel to another area of the body, facilitating the spread of the tumor. Therefore, being able to stop or block EWS fly from changing a cell's adhesion might stop the spread of cancer in addition to halting its growth. Now, because it hasn't been possible to directly inhibit EWS fly, our team is focusing on a key master regulator of EWS fly activity, an enzyme called LSD1. We are exploring the idea that inhibition of LSD1 will block both the growth and the spread of Ewing sarcoma. In Huntsman Cancer Institute's Center for Investigational Therapeutics, we have developed already a novel inhibitor of LSD1. We have shown that this inhibitor restores adhesion of Ewing sarcoma cells, making them stick again. And it also has potent anti-tumor activity in a mouse model. Thanks to CureSearch, we will be able to expand on this work with the goal of bringing this advance to patients in the next three years. The project funded by CureSearch is being conducted in collaboration with myself, Dr. Irv Weissman, and Dr. Sam Cheshire at Stanford University. Dr. Weissman and his team have identified a protein known as CD47, which is overproduced in almost all cancer cells that have been studied, including pediatric cancer. Our goal is to use an antibody that is specifically targeting CD47 in hopes of stimulating the immune cells, known as macrophages, to take in and engulf these cancer cells. So far, studies have shown very little toxicity and have shown that this antibody could have potential effects on treating children with relapsed cancer for whom there are very few options. We feel that the phase one clinical trials supported by CureSearch may lead to new approaches to treat and cure these children with relapsed cancer. Antibodies are important because they can be produced in mass quantities and in essence be taken off the shelf and used to directly treat children with relapsed tumors, including brain tumors, leukemias, and other solid tumors such as sarcomas. There are already current ongoing studies with a variety of adult cancers. We hope to do a similar phase one clinical trial with CureSearch's support to treat children with relapsed cancers. Our goal is to cure 100% of children with cancer. We know that the treatment we give our patients results in significant complications and long-term side effects. We hope that by using an antibody, we will be able to cure children with relapsed tumors who currently have very few options and who do not have the ability to find other forms of treatment that can potentially cure their tumors. So with the help from CureSearch, we hope within the next few years to begin antibody therapies with a chance of treating these horrible diseases. And we thank you very much for the chance to be part of this.
My name is William Weiss. I'm a pediatric neurologist and basic scientist at the University of California, San Francisco, and I'd like to tell you about our CureSurge Grand Challenge Award. Pediatric brain tumors are the most common solid tumors of childhood. Medulloblastoma, the subject of our award, is the most common malignant brain tumor. These tumors are lethal in part because therapies that are directed against the tumor also impact normal brain. So as we intensify surgery, radiation, or therapy, we intensify side effects that limit growth and normal cognition. So how do we do a better job in treatment? Technical advances over the last decade have allowed us to catalog mutations in brain cancer, and those mutations affect epigenetic regulatory proteins. These are proteins that direct specific regions of DNA to be actively transcribed or to be silenced. And in the case of mutant proteins, we are actively transcribing areas that should normally be silent or vice versa. And we believe that by targeting the consequences of these mutations, we can impact tumors and spare normal brains. So to do that, we need someone with a large collection of tumors who can identify the mutations and look at the consequences of those mutations. That person is Michael Taylor at the University of Toronto. He's a pediatric neurosurgeon. He's collected over 1,500 medulloblastoma tumors. And with CureSearch money, we'll analyze these for mutations and for the effects of these mutations. Second, having identified the mutations and the marks left by those mutations, we need a way to drug those mutations and drug their effects. The person who advises us there is Jay Bradner, adult oncologist at the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute and a basic scientist whose lab is focused on developing drugs against epigenetic targets. Jay has already bought three drugs into the clinic from his lab and we hope to add to that list as part of our cure search efforts. Third, we need to make sure candidate drugs spare normal brain. To do that, we need a person who's an expert in normal brain development. That person is Robert Wexlerea, a basic scientist at the Stanford Burnham Institute in San Diego who will look at these drugs and make sure they spare normal brains. And last, we need to make sure they work in animal models for this disease, and that will be the work of my lab. So I'd like to thank CureSearch for um, supporting this effort. I'd also like to point out that these experiments are very expensive. We have a over 1,000 tumors to analyze. We have many mouse models, many drugs to test. We will certainly need additional funding to complete this analysis and to get drugs into the clinic for children with pediatric brain cancer. Thank you.